song na hela nini eh hey, ishing up oh that's my best part by the way ishing up ishing up eh hey. inachezia radio jambo karibu sana kwenye kipindi ikifika wakati jamani unaitisha tu kitu unachoitisha kwa mkaa wajua you've made it karibu sana kwa bustani mimi naitwa Masawe na Fred kwa pamoja na leo katika ilikuwaje niko naye Ann Mwangangi rather Ann Njoki Mwangangi ambaye kwa Kiingereza tunamuita mutishian kwa Kiswahili lazima nifafanue kwamba unapoaga dunia kuna mtu ambaye anashughulikia mwili ya yeah? Ndoje kwa Kiswahili? Um hudumu wa maiti. Oh, eh. Okay, na sound mbaya. <laughs> maiti yeah. sounds ouch. Ndio. Eh. Mwenda zake. Watu walioaga, ya? Wow, you are very beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Santi. Kamba jeans, Ivy. <laughs> Ivy <laughs> <laughs> ni mpiga picha. Okay. Safi. So, Ann. Yes. Eh, ilikuwaje? ukamwa this is your line unataka kufanya ah uh, nitasema mwanzo kabisa ni yangu ni historia yangu binafsi uh-huh. uh, it is all because of tragedy my own tragedy ah uh-huh. uh, nilimpoteza mamangu nikiwa kidato cha pili that is form 2 uh-huh. and uh, si kupata ile ku grief process the right way uh-huh. ili stuck in denial uh-huh. for a very long time uh-huh. so as days went by four years down the line mm-hmm. ndo niliweza kupata kuweza kupata closure mm-hmm. so if that helps niweze kusaidia mtu mwingine aweze ku transition through grief i will be i became a mortician so wewe kuanza kazi hii ya kuhudumia mili yeah. okay ilikuwa ni baada ya mama kuaga dunia after kabisa after after four years okay yes yes kwani ilikuwaaje ndio uamuo kwamba eh hey, watu wengine watapitia hivi what happened Ninge, ni, ningependelea sana kungekuwa na mtu angenishika mkono uh, through the period of grief uh-huh. niweze ku transition the right way uh-huh. so if i can be able to be there for someone else aweze ku transition why not yeah. what do you mean i don't get you sikuelewi nasema ingekuwa rahisi ningepata mtu wa kunishika mkono having someone to work with you yes. your support system even the little like ingekuwa hata kidogo kabisa ingekuwa yeah. rahisi so having someone ambaye atakushika mkono mm-hmm. uh, in this period of grief yeah. and what you do yeah. ni vitu viwili tofauti si tofauti really si tofauti ni eleze tafadhali unaweza toa viewing na upatie mtu closure unaweza kuwa hujatembea na yeye hadi mwisho but at least to msaidia ku transition from one point to the next and that is what we do as morticians okay. watu wanadhani tu tunashika mwili tunahudumia but we also a big part of trying to relieve grief as far as families are concerned really yes so mortician kazi yake wakati ambapo mtu amefiliwa mm-hmm. anafanya nini how do you work with the people that have lost their people uh, if somebody goes home having the idea of ameacha mtu wake mampendwa wake mm. in capable hands mm-hmm. the person has an ease of mind kwenda nyumbani akijua nimeacha mtu wetu kwa mikono ambayo ni safe okay to start with uh-huh. then anaweza kupanga mambo mengine bila the mental disturb nimeacha uh-huh. mtu wetu wapi mm-hmm. ama nimemwacha na nani they mm-hmm. being taken care of okay. so we aid in that sense okay. also consoling is another thing okay. we are able to console with family sometimes you feel their pain but you mm-hmm. have to be strong for kwa kila mtu okay yeah. ni kitu kio gani umeshawashuhudia katika kazi hii yako mambo mengi sana mfano <laughs> 
mambo mengi sana so the, the department entails a lot of things mm-hmm. so sometimes utaliana wao mm-hmm. sometimes you have to you break with them because okay. by the end of the day you're human mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so mambo ni mengi sana pale nini umeshuhudia katika kazi yako hii uh, in aspect of uh, experience yako tu katika kazi yako mm-hmm. yeah Well, uh, every day ukiamka na semanga kazi yangu inaanza wakati ya mwingine, siku mm-hmm. yangu inaanza wakati ya mwingine imekamilika. Mm-hmm. So every day unakuwa na ile mentality anything will walk past your corridors. So ni oji am you ama yourself na Chris. Mm-hmm. Ndio uweze ndio uweze kuaccommodate anything yetengia pale kwa zile corridors. Mm-hmm. So you just ama yourself by the end of the day. Okay. Yes. Kuna wanao kwa ngapi wanafanya kazi kwa hii mocha ambayo unafanyia? a sign kwa peke yangu you're the only woman the only lady, yes. okay yes. how many men a uh, one you're just two of us the oh. department okay. yes yes okay yeah. kwa hivyo it's not so busy thank god <laughs> 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 yes, thank yes. god yeah. do you sometimes uh, stay idle kwamba kuna hakuna biashara huwezi sema hakuna biashara death 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 is for all of us mm. so hatuombi watu wafe okay. tunaomba tu wanao transition to the next life waweze kuhudumia waweze kupitia makafani ambayo ya watu wako we, seen all right mm. watu ambao wanajua what grief is watu ambao wanajua kufiwa ni nini we are trying kujaribu ku break barriers of the misconception watu wamekuwa nazo as far as much as is concerned so when somebody analetoa kwangu at least i know that person received the best of service okay yes okay mm. so your first time ku handle mwili mm-hmm. ilikuwaaje um ulilala ulikula <laughs> Yeah. Yes, nililala kukula ndo ilikuwa shida. Okay. Uh, I was very uncomfortable as far as smells go. I'm very sensitive to smells. Okay. Na kuna vitu ufunzi kwa vitabu. Okay. Kuna vitu wewe nikwambia na mwalimu acha uoga. Mm. Acha adjust to smells. Na unajua mm. mimi nalikuja pale in all forms. Kuna yeah. nanuka kuna nye. So for me smell was a very big trigger. But I also vowed anywhere ni taenda nitajaribu ni make the place as clean as possible for mm-hmm. the next person. Yeah. Sitaki kuna watu wakiingia makafani kwetu wakiwa wamefunika mdomo, mm-hmm. wamefunika mapo, they are disgusted. Yeah. So that is the narrative. You okay. Know, you, yeah. So, Mine was the smell, the trigger ilikuwa to smell. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Marafiki zako watu ambao unajua una kazi, unafanya kazi gani do they stigmatize you? No, not really. I think ni ngumu make marafiki outside the circle of your perimeters. Okay. I have met people in the journey ya kazi yangu, mm-hmm. au ni madaktari wenzangu, mm-hmm. ni nurses. Mm-hmm. So my circle, they first know an before wajue the mortician bit of me. Okay. So by the time wanakuja ku realize me ni mortician, okay. they are already fell in love with na an. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> So wakati unasikia mtu anakuambia ni chungie mwili. Yeah. What does your work entail? Uh, kazi yetu kubwa ni ku forestall decomposition. Mm-hmm. That is our biggest responsibility. Mwili usioze. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ku forestall decomposition mwili usioze kuoza. Mm-hmm. So mtu akwambia ni chungia mwili ni custody, mm-hmm. ku make sure paper wako iko sawa, mm-hmm. ku make sure huyu mtu ata utampresent akikaa venye alikuwa anakaa kio hai. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And that brings a lot of closure by the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unaona mlena kuangalia. Naona. I'm like, "Wait, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Wajua kuna watu wengine hata tuangalie. We don't even view bodies kabisa." Yeah. Umeelewa? Yeah. But you're here. Yeah. Eh, unasafisha mwili. <laughs> unadunga sindano yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah kuchunga ule mwili ukue tu sawa mm-hmm. mpaka siku ya mazishi yeah. okay um, changamoto gani sana umeweza kupitia katika hii kazi yako uh, first of all mochari as a whole department kuna ile two stigma kuna ile watu bado hajatukubali kwa society mm. people still have the notion ile ya kitambo lazima uko on drugs lazima ukwe you. you're not okay mentally people yeah. think ulikuja kufanya kazi ya mochari as a lack of an alternative uh-huh. in uh-huh. as a lack of an alternative in life uh-huh. Uh-huh. so um ni kujaribu ku clear the perspective and it's hard uh-huh. people will speculate unajua wewe jaribu people wanakonga afraid of something new kitu nyawa kwa conversant na ina bring a lot of friction yeah. so by the end of the day ni kujaribu ku kusafisha penye uko uclear mm-hmm. hiyo perception mm-hmm. ndio siku moja msichana wako akakwambia mama i want to pursue motor science you have someone to read it 
uko na mtu unaweza relate naye unaweza mwambia by the way kuna madam flani and she looks in you know that is where we start from i ha- i once had an interview na yeah. mortician mm-hmm. na alisema by the way hizi ingia hapo kakiwa soba lazima ingia hapo kama wako watu wawili yeye yeah, na the spirit yeah uh-huh you know what kind of spirit <laughs> when yeah, yeah. so f- for you are nothing zero you go to work the way i've come to work i go to work the way you go to work just that i'm full of god's grace i believe me neema ya mungu ndio inaweza ku sustain pale without mm. choosing and then it's mm. passion driven hii yeah. ni kitu nilitaka kufanya service is in me so ni kitu nilitaka kufanya ndani ya roho yangu si kitu ati nimesukumiliwa ama ni shida imenipeleka pale hapana mm. mm. it's the service wanting to see someone else be grateful in the midst of crisis that's it yeah ana mwangangi <laughs> where yeah familia yako Uh, my extended family ama nuclear uh, my nuclear family compromises of uh, compro- in a uh, husiana mimi na brother yangu mdogo mm-hmm. i'm the legal guardian to my brother oh. so tulia totko wawili so nime take up majukumu ya kuwa mama rafiki na dada oh, wow. so so, far, so good uh, he's in form 3 right now mm-hmm. aliacho akiwa 4 years so yeah the journey has been a roller coaster of event yeah. but uh, I'm acing it at yeah. being a parent. Yeah. Oh, nice. How is that? <laughs> ah, it's tough. Mm-hmm. You sometimes you have to set aside your growing up to accommodate someone. You mm-hmm. have to mature really fast. Yeah. Uweze kumlea mtoto ambao si wako kipekee. Okay. And it needs a lot of grace understanding, mm-hmm. but I know mom doctor ngependa. Okay. Uh, I'm giving him everything my mom would have given probably more. Wow, yeah. 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 We thank God for daughters. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> you thank God for daughters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a mother to three girls. Oh, so yeah. anyway, mm-hmm. um earlier on before you came, yeah. Nilisema this this chick is coming. Yeah. Na ni mortician. Yes. So there was the discussion up and down in the studio. Mm-hmm. Uh kusema tu uh kuna kati mwili na kwa stiff mm-hmm. and then uh, my, my colleague Tina akasema mm-hmm. no 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 mm-hmm. this is how they do it. Mm-hmm. Wanaika sin uh, dawa <laughs> then your your you know <laughs> fluid unaweza <laughs> kuvalishwa nguo mm-hmm. just take us through the process ina kuagaje uko ndani um mwili ukiingia makafani whatever you're talking about naitwa rigamortis okay it has a name okay. the stiffness yeah naitwa rigamortis, rigamortis eh? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so mwili hayati kuwa na rigamortis all right mm-hmm. so ile kuna ile tu there's the stiffening of the muscles okay so, so lazima hakuna, dungwe sindano kuna dawa inadungwa kulegeza mtu there really? is nothing like that no the only thing we do we align kama ni mikono lakini pia mtu ameaga kumkunja kumkunjo ina kuanga ngumu sana especially after amefanywa embalming ama refrigeration so what happens una analysis ngo vipi I just say you love that for your practical it's very really hard to explain <laughs> I don't okay <laughs> <laughs> It's a bottle of no, water like you have to make someone lie on their stomach if it's a man all right you make them lie in their stomach and mm-hmm. then you dress from the hands as you bring the clothes up kama ni suit shirt inaanza na mikono ukileta ukileta juu for ladies you have to stretch their hands in the mikono juu okay uweze kuingiza nguo ndani ukisha unazivutia chini ya si lazima ukate nguo that's a very big misconception unless mtu ni mkubwa kuliko zile nguo zenyewe ziko provided na lazima ukue na consent ya kins zake because some of these things hold sentimental values yeah. to the kings mm. so you don't go with scissors and unaanza ku rip off clothes um okay yeah. okay kwa hivyo uh, there's nothing like at kuna sindano Hakuna. because i'm thinking is sindano inafanya kazi aje and nothing will react Apai, because you're dead <laughs> yeah ah uh, okay yeah. mafuta mnapakaga mafuta eh, like you massage so that hakuna uh, stiffness uh, so of the first, muscles <laughs> first of all to elewane eh. it's very hard eh? mm. huwezi huwezi paka mtu arimi sama jagens because hana ile body temperature ya okay. ku absorb the the fluid yes, the, 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 the oil yeah so sisi mostly we can use something that has like glycerin in it okay ama tunatumia sana mafuta ya sharahani you okay. know the ka, ka, ka yellow bottle ile ya bike Uh-huh. Yes. Ah. Yes. So ndio mafuta unapakwa. Yeah. Why? Because you're hitaji absorbing. So it's a lubricant. Kwa nini anapakwa mafuta? 
Kwa nini mwili upakwe mafuta? It's a presentation. It's called the basic cosmetic. Okay. Right? So it's, okay. it's a basic cosmetic. Kutaki kutolea watu mtu mwenye anakaa kwa pelish. So you need to Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nitaki kumpaka mafuta for presentation. Yeah. Kuna mili mingine ukiangalia unashtuka. Imekuwa amebadilika usu sana pengine imekuwa mweusi no mm-hmm. unashindwa ah usi yule ambaye tunamjua akiwa mm-hmm. hai mm-hmm. nini usababisha you know a discoloration first of all to it's good we understand that mtu akiaka the process shuts down so the postmortem effects takes place ile hali ya after kufa kuna ile kuganda kwa damu kuna ile hakuna anything that's coming in or anything that's coming out that is trapping of gases na pamoja mtu bloated mm-hmm. maybe the environmental factors pia ziko mtu wako overly preserved ama alifanywa derailment ya ku preserveiwa maybe wakufika mortuary in time or rather hakushughulikiwa inavyofaa kwa kwa dawa nyingi sana ama tu kuna kitu ilifanyika in between yeah okay yeah Niko naye Anne Mwangangi ambaye kazi yake hususa ni ya ku shughulikia yes kuhifadhi kuhifadhi mili katika mochari na natusibulia tu story ya kijinsi ambavyo ilianza na alianza kwa sababu mama alikuwa ameaga dunia um, miaka mingi iliyopita mm, 11 uh, 11 years ago yeah. yeah 11 years ago na kaamua kwamba you know what mimi ningependa kufanya kazi hii ili niweze kutembea na watu ambao uh, wako aggrieved Wow. Yeah. Wow. 22494 wapo na swali 02044455975. Isi interview kawaida by the way. Mwenelewa? <laughs> yeah. Yaani kwa kawaida ukutanaji na boticians hivi hivi mnakutana kama wako roho ngumu. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, mm-hmm. safi amekuja leo katika ilikuwaje na siku ya leo tunazungumzia tu uh, kazi yake kazi yake ni uh, kuhifadhi mili wakati ambapo mtu ameaga dunia there's usually one story ambayo uwezi kusahau of course unasema ulipoanza kazi what you struggled with ni chakula harufu ilikuwa unashindwa kula ilikuchukua muda gani by the way uh, about six months to get used to we yeah miezi sita straight yes. haukuli nilikuwa nakula though ni ile to you it to survive so unakula alafu unasikia ni kichefchefu no you just remember i think there's the memory the mm-hmm. smell yeah okay yeah we unasemaga wakati mwingine kuna kuaga na spirits kwenye mochari <laughs> ati kuna mwili naamka <laughs> unasikia umesumbuka mahali uh-huh. in happen kwa is it true um, especially ukiwa night shift not really i think cuz ngine tu ni paranoia that's what i will call them but hakuna relationship uh, kati ya mwenye aliaga na alihai they are in two different realms za two different separate worlds mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. hakuna relationship ya mtu aliye kufa na alihai ameshaenda ameshaenda so yote inakuwa kwa akili ya mtu all in the head yes okay. and i think so much movies okay yeah ukizama movies au ingengi baridi usikengi initially ukianza kwanza especially ulikuwa ushtuki ukiingia mochari uh, first of all unafaa it's it's good to know isi kosa ambayo unaitiwa na serikali ufanye this is a collective responsibility yako we mwenyewe unaamua nataka kwenda kufanya mochari science nataka kwenda ku, kufanya hii i- training ama course so yeah ni initiative yako we mwenyewe so before ufike pale uko already mentally prepared what you're getting yourself into mm-hmm. so but uh, with the time you get used to with the time unaenda tu kiwa sawa unazoea and then kisha bas okay yeah so in this case tuseme familia fulani imeleta mtu wao na wanahitaji uchunge mwili sometimes unajipata kwamba muna form um, a relationship inelewa mm-hmm. yeah. Does it affect you? Shida ni kurelate. Mm. Shida ni kurelate. Uh, ni vizuri una you first of all understand wao uko kazini mm-hmm. na hawa ni wageni wako ama mm. watu wanao wanataka ku facilitate. Yes. Yeah. So unajaribu ku draw a very fine line usikuwa involved sana na wao okay. because usikuwa professionalism itatoka. Okay. Once umeanza attachment kuna zile wezi zuia especially kama ushai kwa in a certain situation yeah. probably umeona mtu amepoteza um, mamake you try there is the unajabu ku relate ina kukumbusha yeah. so sometimes ni ngumu sana ku ignore but uh, you're supposed to jaribu sana ku create a very fine line between you and your client how old are you i am in my mid 
twenties. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Where? So, Mesema, for the rest of your life, this is what you're doing? Not really. So, Mesema, for the rest of my life. Yeah. Uh, Nasemanga, up to where I am, up to penye ni mefika, I'm serving my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And if a time comes so I'm going to leave the industry or how God will take me where he takes mm -hmm. the rest, mm -hmm. I've served my purposes and njuki. Yeah. Yeah. Nimefanya kazi yangu. Mm -hmm. Chine nilikuwa nimekuja kufanya hapa dunia. I've wiped as mm -hmm. many tears as I could. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, hayo mengine ni Mungu. Ukiletoa mwili ambao umeharibika kabisa, mm -hmm. maybe accident, mm -hmm. nini nini. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you go about it? Uh, kuna kitu naitwa reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Mm process ya kutengeneza ule mwili. It's a lot of work. Eh? It's a lot of work. Sometimes you will be you be required to sit like a panel of surgeons and try and think brainstorm is called to tairu discharge huyu mtu atakaje ni kama kuna macho pengine hana macho so sometimes oh. naka chini you discuss and yes it's a lot of work so zingi utasimama for over 12 hours trying to reconstruct someone just to ease the family ndio utaki kwa pale trauma ukikuja mm. ku view ya mwili yeah. yes so hii macho mnatoa wapi ah uh, kama mtu anakuja na macho okay uh, you okay reconstruction kuna ile you taught how to make uh, ni kama santa itaji uh, so, so it's food. something artificial not artificial you you make with what you have if it's a modeling clay that's what you use yes <laughs> udongo yes yes ile ile una buy kwa bookshop that okay yes. mnatengeneza macho yes. mnaeka you make an impression okay. it's your you trying to make an impression of okay same. okay mm. unaona counselor ah uh, yes kuna deep briefing session okay yes. after how so long when you feel you overwhelmed when we when you are overwhelmed you are already mefika wapi uh, yes they are provided so for most of us because some of us we work institutions kubwa so yeah unaenda unaongea una debrief una rudi tu sawa yeah yeah you need it yeah sure after every lo how long it depends with the struggles you're going through <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mimi bado na process by the way. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> eh, hey, unajua watu wengi wanakupaga mwili yeah. mwili kabisa. Umeelewa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hii ndio livelihood yako. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dating life yako iko vipi? Ah. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay. It's okay, yes. Mpenzi wako anajua ni kazi gani unafanya? Yes. Okay. Atakosa je kujua na kila siku natoka nenda kazini. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ni mtu ambaye bado mko kwa you know uh, you know um field moja ama to totally different field. Totally different. Really? Yes. Which field is this? Um is it German as appreciate sana nikiongelea on okay. air? Mm -hmm. I don't think you'll appreciate that much okay. if I spoke it on air. Like ina naelewa kazi yako. Anaelewa kazi yako. Okay. Yes. Did you struggle initially? No. Okay. No, no. Okay. Mm. Okay. There is and before the mortician. Okay. Yes. Your worst experience kwa hii kazi ni gani? Kila mtu ana trauma zake in life. Ndiyo. Kila mtu ako na jambo lenye they don't sit well with you. Mm -hmm. For me trauma zangu inakuwa na watoto. I don't like handling children. I truly do not. But sasa zingine inabidi tu me, me handle. Yeah. yeah, because kama uko department peke yako utafanya nini? Na lazima u facilitate. Yes. Inakuwa ngumu. Inakuwa ngumu. Nzito nzito yeah, kwako. It's, it's a lot. See yeah. a mother handing you over her child. It's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Chetu angalie kama uko na maswali. Masawe uko sure to me anything anaingia kazini hivyo aje ndio swali unalizwa yes no i don't use anything see to me they only use the grace of god and that's it mm -hmm. yeah okay moja mimi wasika nasema i used to think mtu akifa anatolewa uh, kidney liver da 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 and by the way uh, sindano huwa wanatumia kukata what Way. Can you write your message well? <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh, Do you actually remove the internal organs? No, unless you are doing an autopsy procedure, it okay. is not a Yeah, yeah. That is when to ta toa organs zako to analyze and then we give back your organs to oh. unazikuwa nazo ni zako bado. Okay. Yes. Okay. MJ, mwili unapakwa mafuta ya bike uache kuparara. 
<laughs> Nimejua leo hata mimi. <laughs> Hivi maiti bado anahitaji huduma after kufa. Yes. Eh? And what for? If I may ask. It's serving dignity even in death. Yes. Mhm. Mm yeah, serving mm -hmm. dignity even in death. Okay. Yes. Ati is this the Anwangi Mpole mwenye anajua TikTok? Hoyo mm, tu. Eh, yes. so TikTok unapiga kelele? No, I eh, don't. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's that Anwangi Mwangangi Samani yeah. uh, kwenye TikTok. Una swali 02044459075 ikiwa nambari yangu ya simu 22494 nambari yangu ya SMS. Um Masawi you can give her my number. I also want to join the team. Yeah. Anauliza mwingine wakati ambapo stima inapotea by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Wakati ambapo stima inapotea and bodies decompose, how do they go about it? Ah, uh, mostly institution yenye inaweza jinunulia mashini, lazima ikuwe na backup generator. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, lazima eh? Yes. So amwezi kukua amwezi kabla okay. stima. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, nauliza. Huyu mm -hmm. anaitwa Chris Muluya. Mhm. Mm dadangu. Mm -hmm. Mbona aliona tu afanye kazi kwenye makafani ya wafu na huwa anafaulu aje kukaa na wafu usiku peke yake? Uh, some of easy kazi some of these works ni calling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ni calling na kila mtu ana grace tofauti. Kuna mwenye ataiweza, kuna mwenye hawezi. So as we stand in space za wenye hawawezi fanya kazi yetu. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na baadhi kuna watu inafu ambao nauliza kama kuna nafasi katika kazi. Yeah. Vincent akiwa moja wapo. Okay. Mwingine anauliza what about hizo meno za silva? Huwa mnatoa ama? Lakini wasikilizaji wanakuwa kwa maswali zingine hapo. No though vile ulikuwa ukiwa live utaenda tu hivyo. Yeah. But then what do you do? Uh, uh, again kazi yetu ni ku preserve mwili. Any other thing comes from your next of kings. I don't know what to request. Mm. Fanya removal of implants. I don't know what to ambia. Kama kuna kitu inye wanataka itolewe kwako. And then we do the due diligence. Tunafanya okay. atu. Jinsi ambavu melekezo yes, kufanya. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Sawa. Hii kazi siya watu normal. Is she okay? <laughs> Lakini seriously. Watu munatakaje... Lazima hizi kazi zifanywe na watu because seriously if you die mnani na kuchunga mwili yako yeah so ni kazi tu ya mtu sawia tu na kazi yangu ila tu kwamba eh ni tofauti stigmatized <laughs> yeah. a lot yeah una filaji wakati ambapo watu na wana ku stigmatize um i don't receive that a lot but kuna swali huwa napozia watu mm. The fact that umeniletea ni kulindie your mom because who is he? How does that make me less of a human being? In any case you have trusted me amongst everyone else. Yeah. Juu pale ni ethics na integrity zinafanya kazi. Huyu mtu hawezi enda kushtaki. Huyu si mtu anaweza jiongea. Mm. Umeniachia a very helpless person ni kuangalilie. So how does that make me a lesser person wakati tunaenda nyumbani? Mm -hmm. Umenyetea mtoto wako you are leaving me with people that you love the most. So that is on respect right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. They just fans in denial. Mm. <laughs> Napenda vile unasema yeah. kwamba umeletewa mtu rada mwili yeah. hawezi kujitetea, hawezi kujizungumzia, hawezi yeah. kusema alidhulumiwa. Yeah. Basi tu ni mwili. Ni kulingana na vile wewe utakavyo fanya yeah. kazi yeah. yako yeah. mmenelewa ah yeah. uh, masomo muuliza kama anaweza nitafutia kazi okay kazi boto nauliza kazi by the way um mwingine nauliza nauliza what if the person comes in na, then you confirm he's not dead um but they, has it ever happened i think ni nyinyi mngekuwa mmeripoti tayari on the news desk <laughs> it's not a natural phenomenon it's mm -hmm. not something that happens regularly Mwingine anauliza kama mtu anaikuwa makaa ili asiweze kuharibika. We kuna meat. That's tradition. That used to be traditional. That is that you is kwa practiced kwa makafani. Okay. Yes. So okay. kwa makafani nini natumia nini fridge? Tunatumia refrigeration uh -huh. na kuna embalming. Embalming ni process ya kuhifadhi mwili through okay. chemical means. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Does it affect the body? Kazi yake ni kufostol decomposition. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
I attest to her passion towards service is unmatched. We love her, Esther Mirichu. Oh my goodness. You know her? I know her. She is my best friend. Esther Mirichu, <laughs> hey, best friend. <laughs> hey, best friend. <laughs> best friend to go for all, yeah? <laughs> What to tell Lisa? How do you manage to familiar your work condition, that environment? Really? Yeah. 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 I'm going to tell Lisa. Yeni ukweli watu wakati mungino na tumia shoka, kukati 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 mungino na tumia. Yeah. Yeah. There is no access in the cold room. I think that's the. It's it's just the people's mentality. Yeah. Pale awali. Okay. Ah, to tumia access. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me ask. Mm -hmm. Wakati mwili umeletwa, mm -hmm. nimesema unatumia refrigeration. Yes. So mwili unawekwa kwa um you know the cubicles. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. designed mm -hmm. or the important important mm -hmm. zamani. Mm -hmm. Um inalingana ni facility gani wanafanyia kazi. Okay. Kuna wenye wako na ile resources za ku import, kuna wenye they are locally sourced. So yeah, inalingana ni wapi. Okay. Yeah. So kila mtu ako na cubicle yake hamwezi kulalishia mili kuna zile ziko designed kuwekwa watu watatu they have enough space kuna zile zimedesignwa mtu mmoja na kuna zile zimedesignwa watu wawili you find a whole lakini si eti kwamba mwili, mwili umelalia mwili mwingine juu inalingana ni wapi masafa <laughs> wow so kuna kati mwingine mwili unalaliwa na mwili mwingine infrastructure is very important okay infrastructure because uh, hakuna vile nitakuwa katika makafani yenye haina enough infrastructure you cannot turn down people wana kuleta watu wao Indeed. their loved ones mm -hmm. you cannot turn them down yeah. so in a bid you improvise because probably kwenye wanafanya kazi hawaja hawaja kufanya ile infrastructure kutosha ndiweze kufanya kazi yako smoothly as the society would want it yeah. yes yeah. Mm. how do you manage kufanya kazi na kucha refu hivi si mrefu sana Still. I'm used to I'm used to five years. Miaka tano. Yes. Okay. Turning six. I'm assuming kuna infections nyingi zaidi mm -hmm. hususan mm -hmm. in this area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means in a manner kwamba uko extra careful. Kuna PPEs, personal okay. protective equipment mm -hmm. zenye unavaa ukiwa pale ndani. Mm -hmm. So size ni kota. Yeah, okay. so ukinipata okay. pale kazini I'm all covered up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Have you ever had an accident na mwili? Yes. Ni, oh, really? I broke my thumb. <laughs> yes, I broke my thumb. Alafu? Eh, kakoe, if I broke my thumb, I had to put a restrainer for two months. Ukwenda kazi ni kwa mezi mwili? Luwa nana, but nikuwa fanya office work pick yaki. Okay. Yes. Uh, what happened? How did it happen? I'm telling you, shinda nguvu. Alikuwa mzito sana? The person was heavier than I anticipated, so... Akani crush them. <laughs> so ina maana kwamba unaenda ta tests, unapimwa ama what happens after that? After Because you don't know the cause of death. But then you ask the cause of death. Ama I see kazi. Yes, kuna zile you ask the cause of death if mm -hmm. it is necessary. Mm -hmm. um, we look out for some certain diseases. Okay. But uh, Kama gani? Uh, we have tuberculosis uh -huh. HIV it's good uh -huh. to know uh -huh. the covid thing it's good to know uh -huh. uh, see necessarily if it's diabetic you have nothing to be afraid hypertension uh -huh. is a not cause for alarm uh -huh. so you just look for the things that can be infectious to you wakati wewe unahudumia mwili okay yeah. okay yeah. in this case you are safe no it's ni kuvunjika ni fracture okay yeah, ni fracture oh ni, ni fracture kuvunjika eh na mimi nilivunjika how are you right now i'm good okay ne. <laughs> we actually ngwenda kuulizia swali usha ile tuwa mwili ukashindwa kuiamsha yeah yeah unaweza shindwa but uh, that oh. is why you always to in the department <laughs> kuna mtu anauliza wao wanacheka wakipiga story kazini <laughs> uh, <laughs> fair enough uh, it depends it depends tunaongelea nini Mm -hmm. But sasa we are still human beings we'll have our own conversations by the end of the day. So mbona tusipige story na mwenzangu na tucheck at it. We are not laughing for the deceased, we are not laughing for the family. It's yeah. our own things. We have lives. Mm. Yes. Mwingine anauliza na nafikiri ni swala nzuri zaidi wakati ambapo mtu ameaga alafu it's unclaimed mnafanyaga nini? Um so you become the property of the state. Mhm. Mm yeah. 
ukipitisha miezi sita unakuwa mali ya serikali so the, the government is liable for you and your barrio okay yes maneno kama mwisho ni yapi ah uh, let's learn from death mm. in any case Let's learn to be kind mm. to one another. Mm. I think that death is an equalizer of our soul and uh, it's part of us. Mm. Death is part of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, sisi wote tutaelekea pale unless mm. otherwise unless Mungu akuja tubebe. Mm. But that is the sad reality that one day we all going to get there. So just pray that you land in safe hands. Samani narudi tena. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sasa so, hivi unafanya kazi kwa makafani eh? Yeah. Um are you afraid of death? No, I'm afraid of not living. Wow. I like that. I'm afraid of being conformed by what society thinks is right. True. I want to live. Sitaki kuwa kwa kitanda yangu ya kifo and then have regrets in life. I wish I did this. I wish I did this. So whatever you do you give it your all 100% okay. and you not be afraid of death. Kuna wakati mwingine unaangalia mwili and then you're asking yourself mm-hmm. did this person ever live did they live fully do you ask yourself questions kuna you know sometimes unaangalia tu sema tu anaka sad yeah <laughs> no kuna zile <laughs> <laughs> wait <laughs> no mpiga picha hivi anacheka wait <laughs> so unajua kuna face inakuja huyu mtu anakatua alikuwa depressed They're dif- we have different faces yeah <laughs> Unamjua mtu hata kwa kifo chake wait mkitazama mwili unasema eh hey, na ameenda vile alikuwa by the way yeah, she yeah. just looks pre- beautiful and happy yeah, yeah? so pia mwili ni kama kafani mwili ndio hii kuna nyingine na katu sad yeah yeah do you ever like ask yourself questions yeah yeah you... inakuweka kwa hiyo process ya kuf... you know like You no, you just question the process sometimes. Unaona pengine mtu ameenda too soon. Like they had a whole life ahead of them. Like they will have they had so much potential as per what the family is telling you. Yeah. So sometimes just question the process and you're like I just hope wherever you are you just find peace. Yeah. Do you stare at bodies? Stare. Yeah, stare like stare. <laughs> okay. Ukajiuliza maswali. Ndio hii swali yangu bado hujibu. <laughs> Sometimes sometimes you can uh, sometimes maybe probably you're looking at a murder mm. and you wonder what was this person thinking when they oh. knew the one who was killing them was not stopping you know some murders are brutal yeah so says ni unaangalia mtu alikuwa na anafikiria nini wakati aliona sasa nauliwa nivo so sometimes you ask yourself these questions because you're human by the end of the day when you know mtu alijua taga like when this accident was happening how was this person's reaction in the last hours to that so hiyo ni kitu najiuliza tu peke yako but una wakukujibu sinda yeah yeah okay mwingine anauliza samani we hii interview kweli hiyo by the way muulize kwa nini nywele na kucha zinaendelea kukua na mtu amekufa ah uh, Nywele na kucha haziendelei kumea. Whatever you see it's called optical illusion. Mm-hmm. All right? It's an illusion. It's not happening. Whenever the body is dehydrated, it press everything out. So inakaa nika inamea lakini hakuna kitu kama nywele kumea na kucha kumea. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but it's not a must. If, by the way, if you have dreads, is it a must mtu akate? No, I told you. Kazi yeah. yetu ni kuhifadhi mwili. Okay. Anything else is your family. Oh, vile unataka. <laughs> Ndio watatuambia okay. vile tutakuweka. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Swali ya mwisho. This promise, I promise. <laughs> yeah. And I think it was actually a very good question. Yeah. Ushawahi kuhifadhi mwili una mtu ambaye unamjua? Yes. Wow. I served my auntie. Oh. But without knowing and it was sad. Without knowing she was your auntie. Without knowing she was there. Allah Yeah, ali leto anikiwa off. Eh? So our family is big. Okay. So they thought I was at work and I was told by someone. Okay. Because family ni kubwa. Okay. So mimi naona watu wetu mocha linauliza. Mmekuja kunitafuta kwani kuna nini? I thought they had come to visit me. Okay. They like auntie yako. Mama. Yes. Ilikuwaje? It's hard because we we are human beings by the end of the day. Sisi ni binadamu na ni ngumu it's hard 
Mm. So ni wewe tu ulishughulikia ama mtu mwingine alishughulikia? Mimi nilishughulikia juu my colleague by then alikuwa nyumbani. Okay. By that time. So yeah. Sometimes you will have to. But okay. it's, it's not good but uh, kibidi pia it's okay. Okay. Mm. So kwa siku tuseme kuna mili kama ngapi inaletwa? <laughs> una 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 an estimate ah ni ngumu kupeana projector it yeah mm. how many bodies arrive and how it's hard okay yeah. busiest month hmm kwa mwaka mm -hmm. kuna kuna mwezi hata sisi tuna report ya jali ya jali ya jali yeah so mm -hmm. kwa sijui kwa kazi yako mm -hmm. ni gani ama ni, ni mwezi upi kwa kazi kuna mm -hmm. kwa kazi kuna vifo vingi ah maybe based on not clarified research i will say it's towards the end of the year towards the end of the year yeah. okay yeah. towards the end of the year kuanzia november december yeah october huko hapo hivyo yeah mostly <laughs> ajali yeah mostly okay yeah. okay yeah manenyo ka mwisho tena Yeah, let's be kind yeah. to one another. Mm. Apologize when you're wrong because you never know the next minute might be too late. Okay. Yes. Me my takeaway is Did you leave? Yeah. Yeah, did you leave? Yeah. Did you leave? Yeah. yeah. Kabla kifo chako jiulize tu. Mm -hmm. Mimi naishi, pale nilipo naishi. Yeah. Pale nilipo naishi, naishi. Yeah. Ama una survive. Don't you know too much?